Hello YouTube, uh, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a continuation of our last tutorial on filters. Uh, the reason that we are spending a, another tutorial on it, this is a very important uh, basis of, of, on, of computer vision and image processing. For this uh, reason, we, we got to go a little bit deeper into it. This uh, is, is a Wikipedia page uh, explaining what the kernel, you're going to be hearing that in the program, so I wanted you to, to more or less have an I idea what that means when you hear the term kernel, kernel size, kernel convolution matrix mask. Uh, in, in, I don't know if you've done any networking, but you also in networking you use what uh, IP addresses have a mask. Uh, you, your IP address can have uh, a, a number and then they, they usually, uh, ISP providers and networking companies usually use a, a mask to make uh, sense of, of, uh, of your IP address and that's how they calculate it. In computer vision we use something similar, not the same thing of course, but it's a little bit similar where we use what we call a, a kernel, a convolution matrix, or a mask. And this is uh, this is the kernel right here, the mask. And each one of these matrices, each one of these convolution matrices will produce a different result. As you can see here, that's the original. Just look at the, at the whole numbers here. Uh, there's zeros everywhere, but there's the number one in the diagonal here. But as you can see here, it's got negative values in the corners and positive values on the on the corners, and you can see the effect of what will uh, or, or what happens in edge detection, sharpening, blur, different blur algorithms. They all follow the same. T I, I have a um, let me explain here. This is a Wikipedia more or less. Uh, uh, explaining what convolution is. Convolution is, is a mathematical operation of two functions, f and g, producing a third function which is a modified version of one of the original functions. Translations. Uh, what this means basically is you have two functions. In this case you have, let's say, just an example, just to try to uh, bring the point across. This, let's think that this is a function, this is the f function, and let's think that the mask that is disappeared right now, uh, let's open it here to make it a little bit easier to, as so you can see, let, let's think of this as the f function, and let's think of this as the g function. As you can see, it's being calculated a weighted average of the pixel values, and this calculation, as you can see here, it will create this output of a different pixel value uh, matrix. This function right here will be the output image, it will be the sharpened image in this case. This matrix, convolution matrix that they're using, they're using this matrix, is the same one that as you can see here. If you can see here, it's that same matrix right here. So what it's doing is sharpening the image from that to that. As you can see here, there's a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a nice image, but it's still a little bit blurry. As you can see, after applying the convolution matrix with this kernel size mask, look at that. It's a, a lot more sharpened, a, a more, you get a, a, a more sharpened output. So I wanted to explain this so because uh, one is a very important subject in, in not only in computer vision, is a very important uh, su um, subject in in acoustics, in uh, digital signal processing, electrical engineering, even uh, computational chemistry, uh, electrical engineering, and so on. I mean, it's a it's a, it's very mathematical intensive, but it's um, if you have the time you can go to this page here, the Wikipedia page, they do a very good job explaining and also uh, on this other Wikipedia page on kernel and kernel sizes. And let's get started, let's go back to Python. Uh, this, this 
I'm using this code from from the website. Uh, it's a very good code, and I'm I'm gonna be uh, showing it to you. As you can see here, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna have a description of this in the this, uh, a copy of this code in the description of the video, so you have it. And it's also you can also find it here at the GitHub. Uh, um, I have it. Uh, uh, GitHub page, uh, now, which is now part of the official tutorial Python code, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it's a very good uh, piece of code. That's why I, I I'm using it, and then let's get to it. Let's minimize this. Let's open it. So we go into our, and where am I here? CD desktop. And then it's tutorial number eight. Let's run it. Well, before I run it, well, it's the same one, so I'm just gonna run it because it's the same one you have right here, as you can see. So I'm just gonna run so you can see it. It's gonna show the the kernel size. It's gonna let's explain a little bit. These are all four loops, and as you can see, it's going through the image and it's applying the uh, the algorithm, and it's it's going to be showing the kernel size. You're going to see it as it goes uh, through the different uh, uh, kernels. And you're going to see the effect that it causes on, on the image. Just as we did here, just, just as we had here explained, you're going to see the F, the G function that is here somewhere. This is right here. You're going to see that. You're going to see that. And you're going to see the the uh, the output uh, image and how it's uh, changed, whether it's blur, whether it's uh, sharpen, or or so on. Okay, so let's just run the code. It's Python and it's tutorial eight and autocomplete and let's run it. And this is the code. So you can see the kernel size is changing and you can see the effect on the image now it's going through Gaussian blur and you can see the kernel size going through the changes and you see the image and the effect that it has now it's going through the medium blur uh, filter and you can see it's a, it's a very good one because you can see it with your own eyes this is the bilateral blur that we spoke about in the last tutorial and you can see the the effect that it has on the output image. Let's just I um, I'm gonna run it again uh, so you can see it with less distractions. Let's run it again. What am I doing? Let's dum dum, and you can see it here. And as you can see, blur. Now Gaussian blur and the changes that it does and now it's gonna go into um, medium blur going through the F and G functions and the output and as you can see the changes bilateral blur it's a very good tutorial because uh, it, it really you can see the effects of the code and, and how it changes but uh, thank you for watching this is the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial please click on the like box and subscribe uh, we're gonna have uh, a, another tutorial coming up uh, uh, more in detail with some of the same related subjects and I hope you you meet us okay and you are with us next time but have a great day and thank you bye bye